What is up everyone, I'm the Ants 3 and right now we are about to begin the final episode of the Tyranny of King Washington DLC and just letting you guys know that I'm going to cut the commentaries from the video. I'm pretty much going to do commentary at the beginning of the video like right now and then at the end of the video just to let you know that I'm just going to work on the next part. But anyways, just enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you at the end of the vid. I've got a present for you, your highness. It's the one you blasted really? point blank in the village, sire. He survived. Remarkable. Ganondokon. Alive. Oh, my friend, I cannot believe you are here. They said you had been killed, along with your mother. The clan mother brought me to hell. I was unable to protect my mother. I was unable to save the village. That is how you can move as you do. Every journey holds a chance meeting a new animal spirit every journey holds a chance of losing yourself i understand the risk i will take the journey maybe i don't have to free franklin from a prison i have to free him from washington's power i found an ally radon again samuel adams you were the famous man with the wolf hood no! hold still <clears throat> God, what have we done? But then it's gone. And the captain at Boston Neck is secretly sympathetic to us. I've created a very special means of protection for Washington's palace. An attack there would be completely unexpected. You can get me past these protections? This is a fool's errand, my friend. But I hope to see you in New York. By heavens, what happened? Boston Neck was a trap set by Putnam. And Adams. Ganondoga. Everyone killed. Your men stole my ship, you shite! Easy, Mr. Faulkner. Mr. Franklin is on the side of the rebels now. We need your help. I'll need you to untie the killer so it's all set to go. Meantime, I can scare you up a small crew. Then we'll rush the guards and set sail. Swim! I'll hold them off until you're ready to sail. Savage! Over here! Call back your men and give yourself up! I knew your only chance was to leave from the docks. I kept turning the wheel. Ganondokon, I do not care. Land ho! Look at that. What sort of man would build such a thing? Ships off the port bow! We're not flying the King's colors. They're sure to fire on us. Full sail! Bend them all, full sail! And fire! Ah! He's going down! 
We need to ease off half sail. Gather up their colors. We'll use them to disguise our ship. You heard him, boys. Haul in the flags and we'll hoist them up. Aye, aye, Mr. Faulkner. I forgot how a good sea battle could get my blood flowing. Sail around attacking ships. That's the life. <laughs> I know that feeling. It seems to run in my family. Your father was a seafarer then? My grandfather, Edward. He sailed with a rough crew. Or so I am told. For the king? For himself. But that is a long tale for another day, Mr. Faulkner. Slow down, lad. There's mines about. Don't shoot the mines. That'd give us away for sure. Shoot first, catch them with their knickers down. Shoot the mines now, lad. Blow those boats to kingdom come. Wait,
Hey everyone, Ants3 here, just letting you know that I'm going to stop the video right here. But just before I stop the video, I just want to say that it was really epic on how Connor mentioned Edward just a few minutes ago. But the question is, how is it that he knows Edward? Did he know him through Haytham, or does he know him in a different way? Uh, we'll just probably have to find out. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here, and I'll see you in the next part.